Salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm Lord Formand. We are here in the Lord of the Rings, the Realms in Exile mod, and we're doing fairly well. Uh, I have a lot more confident in this run than I've had in our other runs. Um, we have a new dwarvish uh, vassal on the side who we will hopefully be able to feed land to. Um, and I don't want independent. I want to help them. Um, oh well, whatever. Um, we're colonizing our way through Eregion. Uh, we've got... We've got the capital of Eregion under our control. It's just mainly a matter of getting the massive amount of cash needed to um, build it, which does involve us having 3,000 gold. And considering right now a couple hundred gold has buildings I can build, it's going to be a little while. No point in racing to it, really. Um, I want to get all the colonies set up and functioning. Then we can worry about uh, making, developing it heavily. Um, awesome. Okay, this is almost ready to be upgraded. Glorfindel wants a fight of words. A fight of song. I'd love to face this again. Oh, closer, close to developing a friendship with him. That's always a good thing. Uh, we'll put our songsmiths down here for no particular reason. We could hold a grand tournament. No, unfortunately we have better things to do with our cash at the moment. Namely, give our son more lands. Speaking of which, he did get married and they did have a son. Good. Now, we'll hit the borders of Eregion here. Start upgrading this. Oh, flooding. That takes a while. What do we need to rebuild this other than 3,000? Nothing. Okay, we need to get become a legendary figure and a religious icon and become friends with Sirden, who we still haven't made contact with. Ooh. Ha! Huh. Wow, somebody did some work here. The Tara Tatyar culture, the original one of the original elven cultures. Somebody's done some uh, some good work with that. Really, I'm impressed. Um, let's do... Bowmakers here. So instead, let's move our archers to here. Put our songsmiths up here. Okay, two more lands to colonize and upgrade, and then fun things can happen. At which point we can start re-establishing elven dominance over Middle-earth. Or, well, more likely elven and dwarven, if we're going to keep this guy functioning. Poor guy. He's really struggling. Balin. Too bad we don't border ball in yet. He's still alive though, which is impressive. What's going on with a Balrog though? It's dormant. Okay. These guys have colonized most of Moria. It's too bad I can't colonize anything. I wish you could colonize for your vassal your dwarven vassals, though. That would be nice. This is upgraded. There we go. Another province for our son. He's got some vassals under him, which is what I was hoping he would do with it. And he should... Well, not yet, but he is making money. So at some point, he will be upgrading his lands. Now let's... Ooh, do we want to get Swan Fleet? It's not part of our kingdom, but... Pre-colony? Colony? Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll colonize it. Better than letting the, the Dunlindings have it, for example. Good for nothing brigands. Hmm. Oh, I got my other uh, refuge going. Nice. Okay, it's a matter of saving up money, really. Oh, we still have some building slots here first, though. Um, what do we got stationed there? Thongsmith. Is there anything I can do to improve those? Not really. Not really. I have to be higher level to get anything decent built. Uh, I guess we'll do foresters for the moment. Anything that gets me more cash. That is upgradable. Lovely. Let's swap this over to there. Clear those out. Okay, that's good. We'll give this to Gildor. He owns two lands. Is this the same? It is. Okay, all of Gildor's lands will be within this one duchy for the moment. I will give him the uh, dukedom pretty, sh pretty shortly. This uh, goblin wants to be friends. Um, no. Ay -ay -ay. No way I'm becoming your friend there. Sorry, but you're evil. Um, give him this region. Once that's upgraded, we'll grant it away. Everything else, we will probably. Hold on to... Uh, maybe. We should be getting fairly close to divided attention, which will be nice. Don't want to give too much of my land... Give too many of my provinces away, of course. Persuaded Aragorn to abandon his paranoid ways. Um, uh, he is a, he is slowly colonizing this area. Problem is, a lot of his lands are still settlements, so he's not making a lot of money yet. These guys are proving to be entirely useless. Makes me feel a little bit better about how, uh, what a struggle it was for me last Let's Play. To war! To war! The Fang Stealers are trying to uh, remove Balin. To war! Um, we're gonna be quicker on this way. At least I can enter underground lands, which is nice. Mm, we have to tolerate their heresy so that we can actually get their lands developed at a reasonable pace. Bustling colony completed. Does that mean I can almost turn it into a settlement? Next month. Oops. Royal court stuff. Go on. List is excessively long. He'll be keeper of the swans. Huh. 
Standing before us is Elron, son of Erendiel, of the no sired by Chur, son of Hyor, son of Galdor, son of Hador, son of Lorendel. Yeah, a lot of stuff there. Uh, owes you for your services. We'll just thank. Thanks for your work, basically. What's Galadriel doing? Fine. We will build a new, stronger identity. We could adopt a newly divergent culture. We are Noldor and nothing else. Get in line. We want to stay Noldor so that we can become High King of the Noldor. Replace, uh... Replace our fallen kingship with a powerful empire. This is assuming we can actually win a war against goblins underground. Looks like it's going pretty well. Yeah, we're going to win that. Good to know. Okay, turn this into a holding. There we go. Uh, shift the development to here, I guess. And colonize this. Okay. Oregion has been, by and large, reclaimed. Apparently somebody can do something for me. Who did Gundabad? Nah, we don't need anything from the orcs. How's this guy doing? Ah, he now has a castle. Which is only so useful. Oh, hi, cat. A cat just landed on my lap, everyone. Sorry for the moment. Hey, girl. You're okay. Settle down. There you go. It's always surprising when a cat appears. You're just sitting around, casually not doing anything. Whoops, cat. Um, that's the way of it. So, we helped Balin survive, which is good. Ideally, I'd like to Balin to retake... Um, Moria. I doubt it's going to happen, though, considering what a struggle he is in at the moment. Um, let's give this guy at least a Dwarven Market. Give him what help I can. Oh, this needs to be upgraded. Okay, popular figurehead. Next level, we'll get divided attention, which will be nice, because then we can hold all the lands we currently own. Okay, that is progressing. That is progressing. Truly heartfelt. We'll build an elven hunting ground there. We'll build an elven hunting ground here. And then we're going to focus on getting 3,000 gold and building up um, Imladris. And Galadriel is now our friend. Awesome. Exactly what we want to see. Once more, and done. Okay, granted to this guy, the Penny Father. There we go. Awesome. So, he has no lands built, but he, he makes decent money, so I'm not worried. So we have a very powerful duke, who's our son, which is exactly what we want to see. We have a decent duke down south who's loyal, and then we will control the land around um, Eregion's capital. Uh, build a market, I guess. Oops, got some wolves to take care of. It's too bad it's going to be hard to... If this guy could get some claims on this land, it'd be really nice, because then I could feed it to him. 
Um, I can't colonize there either because it would take it away from his ability to colonize. Oh, Legolas is calling us to war. What does he need? Who is he fighting? He's fighting Men of Dale, which is apparently collapsed. And Erebor has been depopulated? What the heck is going on? That is weird. That is very weird. Dale has completely been conquered by these guys, who have then promptly lost it, apparently. And now Legolas is trying to conquer it. Okay. Interesting. I guess we should help Legolas retake that area. Little concerning, though, that Dale is gone. As is Erebor. I mean, obviously the dwarves are still alive in the Iron Hills, so it's not a complete disaster, but... It's shocking nonetheless. Oh, more books to get rid of. Okay. Um, that's functioning, that's functioning, that's functioning. That needs to be upgraded. I'm going to do an upgrade here in uh, Eregion. There we go. We'll speak well of him. Okay. Time to take that for Legolas. It's not an elven homeland, but I guess he counts as evil, so they're going to attack. At least the dwarves still have some troops. What's going on down south? The stewards are losing Athelion. We will join that war. And we will help Legolas win and then we'll march south, basically. And we will win fairly easily versus these men. Oops, my business is done. There we go. Come on. I need to go smash Sauron's army, please. There we go. Oh, and we got a modest gemstone, which is decent loot. Raid my archers a bit and race south to help as fast as we possibly can. Huh, that's interesting. How'd they lose that badly? Where's their army, by the way? Huh. Oh, it's still there. They just lost. Huh. I mean, Theoden and his descendants, or in this case, Queen Judith, the son, the daughter of Theoden, who apparently got remarried to somebody who also died, um, is going strong. No, don't keep suiciding into the Mordorian armies. Seriously. It's like they're trying to lose. Okay. Go south there. One on one right now. I can probably um, smash Sauron's army because it's so small at the moment. Oh, it's going to be close. It says we'll probably lose, but not with the reinforcements of Gondor. Good. Good thing we showed up when we did. I don't think Gondor would have survived because Theoden or... What a Queen Judith keeps suiciding into Sauron's armies. Oops, you're gonna attack, aren't you? Yeah. Well, the last alliance wasn't the last alliance, I guess, because now we've got a new one. 
Um, Denethor the Disgraceful. <laughs> okay. I would say he's a disgrace in the book, to his lineage. All the mess he creates. He does defend fairly well, though, considering what he's working with. How much more do we have to... Rohan occupied Minas Borgel? What is Rohan's siege ability, then? Just as Mangan else. Wow, he must have been sieging for ages. Okay. Um, ideally, I want to attach to your army, so slow down. Ugh, bother. Attach to... That... That army. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that war. Um, they should win or lose, really, without me having to interfere. That's upgrading, this is upgrading, this can be colonized, okay. Hopefully with Elvish men-at-arms, Denethor can win a war. And now we own all our lands. And can maintain our holdings with no trouble. Perfect. I suppose I should probably finish upgrading that thing. Okay, the dwarves have some men at arms, not much of one. Oh, apparently you can upgrade the dwarven holdings more. That's nice. Considering how bad the dwarves are above ground. Okay, we got another holding here. Oh, we inherited land from the dwarves. He died. Grant to culture, lo local culture, and our faith. So, okay, we got a dwarf who's married to a elf. What weird abomination and heresy have I created? <laughs> wow. Okay. That's interest. Oh no, she's the regent. Pew. I was going to say, I didn't think they could get married that way. She's just merely the regent of his lands. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Um, we can ransom people. Let's ransom a couple cheap ones. Oh, we just got a good chunk of cash somewhere. That's upgrading. This is done as well. Awesome. Grant this to... Come on. My cat is trying to figure out what to do. Come here, girl. Settle down. No, nope. settle down. There you go. She really likes it when I play this game, I guess. Um, we're not going to give it to our grandson. We're going to give it to somebody else. Yeah. Nos Amroth. Oh, um, that must be related to... Oh, no. He's the founder. I was going to say, it'd be cool if it was related to the Amroth dynasty, but apparently not. Okay. Well... Eregion is under our control. Our men-at-arms are still valiantly fighting Sauron in the south. And Gondor is very much counter-invading Sauron at the moment. Good for them. Um, <clears throat> Balin was being superstitious. We persuaded him not to be any longer. I'm going to give him a gift of gold. So that he can actually do stuff in his lands. I might give these guys another castle as well. Oh no, I can't. Oi! Sauron lost. Good. Victory was ours. 
to get the next level of the Elven Refuge, we need 600. Okay. How's the development looking? Development, development, development. Decent. We're still rather far behind the Ladriel. I guess... Hmm. I don't think a holy order, though. That would take up one of my provinces. Nah. Hmm. I guess I'll build an Elven Refuge here. Then I can always give that away to the Holy Order. Build some foresters. Awesome. Okay. I will upgrade to this Elven City. Before we start saving for... Um... Eriador. Not Iriador. Eregion. There we go. Sometimes the names are all confusing. A lot of them start with E. Is there any... There is no good Dalians left. At least they all converted. Too bad. It's very, very few non-evil faith people alive over there. There's an estranged, stray one. There's a stray. The Iron Hills are at least doing something decent. Sad though that they lost er uh, Erebor. I wonder how the heck that happened. Must have been an event or something, like a plague, they abandoned it, but... Or maybe, maybe they lost a conquest war, but because it's an underground holding, the enemy couldn't hold the land. I bet you that was it. I bet you that's what happened. They lost an uh, invasion war, but the enemy couldn't occupy the land because they weren't strong enough, but they can't live underground. That would make sense. Interesting. 17 years to upgrade this elven city. It's gonna be a while. And that's cheaper than normal. That's three... That's 30% off. Very expensive. Oh, we can become an herbalist? No, just seeker of knowledge. Darn. Uh, dwarven outposts. Yes. Oh, Galadriel wants a magical duel. Well, I'm not going to beat her with lore. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm a little bit better at... Wow, she's really good at scheming. Uh, I'm only slightly better at diplomacy. And I won. Ah, nice. Compared to Galadriel, even Elrond is pretty terrible. Okay, we need 3,000 some odd gold. So, let's swap back to gaining collecting taxes. Who can I convince to give me land? Oh, I could try and convince the Bjornings to give land to the Dwarf. Uh, unlikely to help. I, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I will give this guy the high pass, though. So now he has claims on this area. I don't know if it'll help him. Okay, we'll become somewhat friends with that guy. This was upgraded. Okay, yep, that doubles our money from that. Wait a second, did that cost... It costs us prestige to build farms. Our vassals are fighting each other. Stop it. Stop fighting. Stop vassal war. 
Just stop. White piece. Now they can't fight each other. I don't want my Noldor elves doing their whole kin slaying routine again. They already did that once and it was enough in elven history. Okay, well, we are in a good place to stop and so we are going to. So, the northeast of the good people has collapsed. Um, but the Bjornings, Imladris, Lorien, the Riddamark, and Gondor are currently standing strong. In the south, Belakar is doing well as well. And uh, overall, in decent shape, Aragorn's still alive. Still has no kids. Anyway, see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.